Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Nazi Factory. In a series of election manifesto videos, today we'll be looking at the EFF and we'll be looking at their local government election manifesto for 2021. Uh, there's a couple of things that I, when I read through, I'd like for us to take a look at. So those things are going to be land, human settlements, local government capacity, the economy, crime, and corruption. Okay, let's look at land and human settlements. That is going to be found on pages 37 and 49. Let's take a look at what the EFF says about land. Um, here, okay, there's the first part that says EFF, municipalities on land and agrarian uh, economy. Okay, every EFF municipality will have a clear town planning program. Every EFF municipality will conduct land audits of its municipal areas to determine true land ownership details of every piece of land in the municipality. Every EFF municipality will have its own municipal land reform uh, plan outlining municipal-based land reform targets. These targets will be aimed at resolving urban land hunger in urban and peri-urban municipalities and ensuring access to land for housing, urban agriculture, and black-led industrial activities. Every EFF municipality will formalize all informal settlements under its jurisdiction and ensure that areas are provided with services and properly zoned to ensure that houses can be built in these areas in short to medium term. Every EFF municipality will establish municipal-owned an abattoir to support and source uh, produce from mainly black livestock farming enterprises and ensure that these enterprises are provided with extension program services. Every EFF municipality will have land and agricultural development directed to prioritize available land to needy citizens and providing all necessary support for agricultural development. Every EFF municipality will build and support fresh produce market for small-scale farmers, farm producers, Every EFF municipality will develop a cultural land protection bylaws interesting to ensure that land suitable for agricultural purposes is not used for any other purpose but only for agricultural activities. Funny enough, they say this, right? <coughs> Excuse me. And when, okay, let me put it to you like this. When white farmers would say, okay, you can't build on this land, you can only do agriculture on this land or vice versa. They EFF will be the first to be like, no, 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 no. We can do whatever you want in this land. But now you're saying that in your municipalities, you will have control and make bylaws that ensure something, some piece of land is made for one thing, not the other. But, you know, hey, guys, um, every EFF municipality will procure its own food needs from emerging farmers. I'd love to see that. Um, every EFF municipality will build a new recycling plant by 2023. Um, interesting stuff on land. Um, wait, last one on student accommodation. It says here, every EFF municipality will make land and properties available for student accommodation and change bylaws to allow property owners to rent out properties for student accommodation. That, that I believe is a good thing. In places that are close to universities and schools and TV colleges, I think that's quite, that's quite the good thing to look at. Okay, next we'll be looking at local government capacity. Um, that'll be found on page 43 of the manifesto. So, what do they say about what local municipalities must be able to do? Okay. Every EFF municipality will abolish tenders and insource the following services. Security services, cleaning services, gardening, horticulture, landscaping, general maintenance, includes the repairs of buildings, <coughs> refurbishment of infrastructure, catering services, IT services, auditing services, construction services, lol, municipal bus services. Yo, guys. Yo guys, the people are gonna fight this. Hey, people who just don't want to see this thing become a reality. Um, I really wonder if a lot of people just even accept this. But of course, I believe security and cleaning, gardening will always end up being insourced. General maintenance, construction. Yo, yeah, no. Every every municipality will ab abolish use of consultants and establish internal engineering and spatial planning units by December twenty twenty three. EFF municipalities will fill all vacant positions by December 2022. I wonder if filling those vacancies will mean processes and procedures are followed, HR staff is followed. Every EFF municipality will establish construction companies that will employ artisans and engineers on a full-time basis to build, maintain, refurbish all municipal infrastructure. Every EFF municipality will initiate a mentorship program to link retired artisans and engineers with junior artisans and engineers employed by municipalities. Like That makes sense. Like Bruh, like this is literally needed so like students can actually get experience. EFF municipality will absorb all EPWP into full employment by the municipality. 
Uh, every FM municipality will have a fire department and substation in every ward. Ah, nyege. Ah, that, that, I've, <laughs> I'd love to see that as well, man. Okay, if what I like, this one, I do like this point, though. Uh, this point number 10, if you can look at the top of the page. EFF municipalities will introduce, will introduce night shifts to improve service delivery. The EFF has been quite vocal on why clinics don't work 24 hours, but a hospital does. I do believe that honestly makes sense. It will alleviate queues. People, if you are like working at the night or you just have time in the evening to go collect medication and smaller and other things, I genuinely believe you should, you know, be able to do that any time of the day. <coughs> uh, next, okay, uh, what the EFF says about the economy every eff municipalities will declare a special economic zone with zero company taxes and building allowances for all companies that require infrastructure in exchange for producing products that contribute to municipal services and create jobs every uh, eff municipalities will give property taxes and rates rebates for all companies that create 200 jobs or more that's okay that definitely makes sense as long as they're paying the people correctly Every EFF municipality will build retail trading stores for street vendors and will prohibit the confiscation of street vendor goods. Why does it look like it's been edited? Goods as a means of enforcing municipal bylaws. I wonder what happens if they get in a coalition and the party in the coalition that doesn't believe in that. Because a lot of people, are, there's, there's one side of the fence is like, um, you can't walk on the streets in Johannesburg, for example, because of people selling, why not make designated places for them to sell? Whereas the EFF says sell anyway. Every EFF municipality will procure 80% of all goods from municipal special economic zones. Okay. Every EFF municipality will provide ways to claimers with training and processing facilities, access to market. Yes, that's good. EFF municipalities will approve building and site development plans within a short period of time to many property development. EFF municipalities will promote local tourism to create jobs. Okay. EFM municipalities will provide security in industrial sites and economic activities, major economic activities, to ensure that they are industries that operate 24 hours. Yes, but please, tw that 24 hours thing, I believe in it. Municipal zoning will permit house based businesses. Mm, interesting, interesting. Um, EFM municipalities will force mines to play a developmental role in the areas that they're operating. Uh, yeah, a lot of these things, at least, they, they spoke at a municipal level and not a national level, which I like. Um, next, we've got crime. Crime is on page 61 um, of the manifesto. Let me find that. Okay, it's very short, funny enough, okay? Uh, EFF on crime, excuse me for that. EFF municipalities will engage in consistent roadblocks, including a random search, not at one place to fight crime, Fight transportation of drugs and illegal firearms. EFF municipalities will strengthen law enforcement to fight corruption, gangs, and drug lords. How? Like, this literally, of your entire thing, it's like two sentences. Dude, this is... That's a flop. This, for me, is like... do you're not even saying you want to fight crime, bruh. <sighs> Yo, zero. Zero out of ten. Lastly, what does the EFF say on corruption? That will be found on page 70. This is the shortened... Uh, manifesto if you're interested in looking it's not the one the complete complete large document it's like the 81 page document on page 70 what did EFF say on corruption every EFF municipality will establish an anti-corruption unit that will be headed by men and women of integrity all EFF municipalities will increase municipal internal organ capacity to enhance efficiency and effectiveness in governance and preempt all forms of corruption all EFF municipalities will have quarterly public meetings to report residents on implementation implementation of service delivery and budget budget in implementation plans as part of the community oversight. Every EFF municipality will ensure that the chairperson of the municipal public accounts committee is elected from the opposition party to safeguard transparency and oversight. Ooh, yeah, I doubt. What if ANC is the one? Every EFF municipality will establish a toll free independent anti fraud and corruption hotline for employees, okay, to report crime. EFF municipalities will show that all corrupt matters are settled within two months. Yo, lol. And okay, last one EFF municipalities will protect and compensate whistleblowers. <sighs> Yo, that's, that's a tough one. Um, yeah, guys, that was the EFFs. Um, <laughs> election manifesto for 2021 local government elections. 
I give it a I give it a six out of ten. Lots of I like that they talk about the municipality as opposed to the EFF and as opposed to the ANC and the DA. They talk a lot about national issues that you can't really solve at the municipal level. Uh, I I like what I'm reading, but there's a lot of stuff that's a bit still iffy to me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Will you vote EFF or not? Uh, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Shop.